Hi, Lester, Wushu Engineer. As a companion piece to my previous video, which looked at uh, force production in uh, weapons, in particular I used two weapons that used the uh, Chinese flute, a robust version of the Chinese flute, and an Indian club to, uh, to strike a force plate and measure the uh, attendant impact forces. Um, what I thought I would do as well is to film a very short video uh, doing similar tests against uh, the power cube device. So what I'm going to do with the power cube device is I'm going to I'm going to use the Chinese club. So I'm going to do some strikes with the Chinese club, identical to the kind of strikes that I did against the the the, the load cell, the force plate. And I'm also going to use a baseball bat. So I'm I'm, I'm going to use a two-handed grip on the baseball bat. And I'm going to see if I can um, uh, if I can multiply the amount of the amount of impact energy or force that I'm producing with that swing as opposed to a one-handed swing with the Chinese club. The Chinese club, as I mentioned in my previous video, is about 800 uh, moles long and about 800 grams in weight. The, um, the uh, baseball bat that I'm going to be using, uh, as a matter of interest, I don't actually, I haven't actually owned a baseball bat up until this moment in time. I've never played baseball um, and I've never owned a baseball bat so I bought this bat specifically for this test. Uh, due to the cost of buying a, a high, uh, a high performance baseball bat, I've actually opted to buy a, a, a small youth um, baseball bat. Um, I, I think it's a, some kind of hardwood, maybe hickory or something or other. Um, so uh, we'll see how that performs in relation to the Indian club and also in relation to, um, to the maximum impact recorded on the, on the power cube um, uh, by a, a 90 kilogram male swinging a baseball bat. So we'll see what my value looks like compared to, to that maximum. So um, just, as a, just as a matter of interest and as a follow up to the previous video, I hope you enjoyed. We're gonna go straight into the testing I'm swinging the uh, first. Gonna, I'm first going to use the Indi the um, Chinese flute, and then I'm going to use the uh, the baseball bat with a double-handed swing, and see if I can't multiply that force uh, or that 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 impact impact energy. So we'll see. See you in the next section. Okay. So without much further ado, I'm going to get straight into the test. This is the uh, starting off with the Chinese uh, the Chinese flute. Okay, so the, the maximum appears to be in the 46,000 range. So what we'll go to straight away is we'll go to the, the baseball bat. As I mentioned, this is a, this is a youth, uh, and it's ash, youth ash bow. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so there's some interesting results with the maximum for the, the um, baseball bat being about 86,000. I'll see you in the conclusion section. Welcome to the results and conclusion section of the video. 
So some uh, some interesting results again from uh, from examining or comparing the two different uh, weapons and different type of striking techniques against the power cube. Um, uh, what I realized was that I didn't actually, I didn't do a weigh in between the two weapons. So um, the Indian club, I'm oh, sorry, Indian club, the, um, the Chinese flute weighs about 850 grams, 850 grams. And uh, the, um, the baseball bat about 650 grams. So there's a significant weight difference between the two. Um, and the, uh, the baseball bat, bat is actually quite a bit lighter. Um, and also shorter as well. So there are those two two thing, two elements to bear in mind with the test. Um, so the uh, the maximum that I uh, that I got uh, maximum impact energy uh, that I got with the flute was uh, or, or the, the maximum impact I should say in Franklin's was uh, forty six thousand four hundred and ninety seven Franklin's for the for the flute, um, and that was a, of course a one handed one-handed swing. With the baseball bat, I uh, achieved 86,050 Franklins in that, in that impact, uh, in the maximum impact. Which is interesting um, because it, it shows that, uh, uh, what, what, I'm sh what I'm trying to show with that is that uh, by using particular types of uh, 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 body mechanics, you can, uh, and uh, even with a lighter weapon, and one that doesn't even have as much reach um, by using certain types of body mechanics um, and of course with different weight distributions in weapons because of course the baseball bat has most of its weight predominantly towards the end which favors a, favors a sort of a club type swing. Um, various factors combine there to make the weapon able to uh, multiply the amount of force that, and, and energy that you can actually put into a swing as opposed to something that isn't distributed in the same way so uh, for instance uh, as in as in the flute which is which is heavier um, but usually swung with single hand and uh, and the weight is distributed evenly along its length so different weapon different uh, different scenarios different uh, different ways that that it's used in um, so uh, the other interesting thing is that um, uh, according to uh, according to the online resources in terms of records on the power cube um, I'll put the link in the description below but uh, the previously um, previously posted record for um, uh, for uh, the best uh, baseball bat swing um, was by a 90 kilogram male so uh, roughly in the same weight class that I'm in I'm I, I, I'm in the I, I'm in the 80s um, but their, the previously posted maximum was 42,000 Franklins, which is interesting because it's, it's, uh, it, it, and it, it may just be that it's, a, it's, an old, uh, it's an old record and it's been superseded but hasn't been updated. Um, but uh, my, my, my one-handed swing with a flute was actually higher than that score. Um, and my, my baseball bat, even though my technique is pr uh, probably a little bit lackluster because, I've, as I said, I've never played baseball before, but just, just drawing on my, my, my own knowledge of biomechanics that I've learned from studying a traditional martial art, I was able to, um, uh, to more than double that, uh, that score for a baseball, baseball bat swing. So really, really interesting results and something interesting to consider as well in terms of in terms of what uh, traditional martial arts can actually offer to conventional sportsmen and sportswomen um, who perhaps want to up the level of their um, their in, in inherent knowledge of biomechanics to improve um, improve their ability in their various sports and disciplines. And of course, traditional martial arts represents you know over a thousand years of study into bio in, into human biomechanics and. Uh, and making movements more efficient, making them more powerful. Uh, there's a lot of knowledge in there. And uh, as I said, I've never played baseball before. I've never actually swung a baseball bat. Um, uh, I've, I've swung a lot of other weapons, but not a baseball bat. Um, so you, can, you could see from the first few swings that I took at the power cube, I was, I was still sort of getting my, um, getting my uh, uh, sort of making the structure a, a bit more efficient. So towards the end, my values um, actually doubled from when I, when I first started, uh, started swinging the bat. 
and um, given a little bit of time and practice I'm pretty certain that I can actually I can actually go above 100,000 Franklins you uh, swinging the baseball bat but just just interesting to note that um, that that this that 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 uh, that there is this knowledge that's actually locked away in traditional martial arts which could be accessible to um, sportsmen and sportswomen in various conventional sports if they were interested in upping their game. All right, so this has been uh, this has been a, a bit of a, sh a shorter video from uh, uh, Wish Your Engineer. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, post your comments in the comment section below and consider consider subscribing and uh, leaving a like. Uh, it helps the channel and uh, and it helps me to create a little bit more. Um, of, of this content and also post any suggestions that you have for future videos in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Cheers.